Welcome back, everybody. Uh, you caught us here making some short leg casts on some patients. Wanted to talk a little bit uh, about uh, some molds. We, we've been doing a series of we've been doing a series of videos on molds. The the last one you may have seen was doing molds on the upper extremities. We did an inner osseous mold. We did a, a deviated ulna. We did a volar mold. We've done a few different ones. I'd like to show you some really really cool molds you can do on a short leg cast that are not only really, really cool, but they're, they're more comfortable for the patients using the cast. It, it gives them a little bit better sense of comfort. Uh, they're more functional and functionable, and um, they, they help keep the cast from slipping. So the first one you can do is, if you have the patient in this position, the first one you can do is you can use the fatty part of your hand, the meaty part of your hand, go right here where the arch would normally be, and use the, the, the thick part of your hand to create what would be the natural arch in the foot. Just like so, if you want to come around this side, you might get a better view of it. You can actually see, as I'm doing it, you can actually see the mold starting to happen. It doesn't take a lot if you, if you address it while the cast is still, while it's still curing. That is the standard arch mold. The next mold you can do, if you want to come back around if you don't mind, is you can do you can do the Achilles mold, which is, it's, it's not making the back of the cast tighter, it's making it more fitted. So you're gonna get your hand, and you're gonna do this with your hand, and you're gonna, the indentions, where there's, where there's most of us have a nice little crease back here where our, where our Achilles is, you're gonna get your, don't, don't leave finger indentions, because remember, those leave hot spots, just leave a nice little, a nice little mold here, and it keeps it from wobbling around, especially if they have an ankle problem, an ankle injury. This will keep it from wobbling around. It'll make the patient feel more comfortable. I don't know if you get a better shot if you go this way with it. I'm not exactly sure. I can't see. But you're basically doing this. You can use your fingers to kind of help a little, but don't leave any indentions, please. The next good mold you can do, some people do it with the flat of their hand. Some people do it with the back of a box, like so. Some people use the back of a box. Some people use the flat of their hand. It's called the gastrocnemus mold. And what you do is you make, you make the back of the cast flat. Just flat like a board. That's all you're doing, flat like a board. You can incorporate two molds at the same time because I want to talk to you about the triangle mold up here, the pyramid mold that goes right above the tibia, center tibia. But let's just start with this. We don't want to get too advanced, too quick. A nice, flat, gastroc mold. And when you start getting really, really good at your molds, you can use this hand to do the gastroc mold, while this hand is making like a pyramid, a, a triangle shape, and it's doing a triangle shape over the center tibia. So if you want to come around, Stephen. So you can do this two ways. You can use two hands, and you can make that nice little pyramid shape right over the center tibia. And again, just like we did back here on the Achilles, you can use your hand to rub it into shape. And like I said, if you get really, really good at it, you can do this part. You can be doing the gastroc mold and you can be doing the pyramid mold over the tibia at the exact same time. And you'll hear me as I'm talking, getting out of breath because I'm really using some, some muscle here to make it happen for you guys on camera at the same time, because the cast is already curing really, really quickly. So what we've done is we've created, if you start at the top, here's your arch mold. Nice flat surface here for weight bearing. You've got your, your Achilles mold back here. You've got your gastroc mold, nice and flat. You got your triangle mold over the center of the tibia. And you can use your fingers and just kind of rub out any little gaps you feel without making the cast tight, especially if they have a nice narrow ankle. Just bring all the, all the little gaps up close so it has a nice fitted feeling to it. It'll be much more comfortable to the patient. You'll get less phone calls about the cast wobbling or being loose. 
the providers will be very, very happy with the fitted cast as long as you don't make it too tight. So there's one, two, three, four new molds for you to practice when you're making your short leg cast. Good luck, you guys. See you soon.